Hello everyone, I'm Joe Lovery and welcome back to another video. So I'm a PJ professional. The aim of my videos is to help you improve your golf. So if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified of when I upload a new video. You haven't yet unlocked the full potential of your driver. And today I'm gonna to show you how we're gonna do that. We're gonna increase your distance, but also we're gonna improve your accuracy. Now this is a mistake I see week in, week out in my lessons because everyone's trying to hit up on that golf ball. Now, although they end up hitting up on the golf ball, what happens is they do it the incorrect way. And this causes so many problems when it comes to correct generating power and when it comes to that consistent ball flight coming by squaring the club face at impact. So we all know the ideal thing to do with a driver is hit up on that golf ball. It's gonna help us launch it high and spin it less. But the problem is you're doing it incorrectly. Now, I absolutely love this drill and so do many of my clients. I've seen them doing this now for the last year or so on the golf course. And some of them are saying that their statistics have gone through the roof with a driver. It's gone from the weakest to the strongest clubs in their bag just by doing this on a golf course. And what I wanna do is I wanna address the driver now and you'll notice the stick on my left heel. Now, one of the things you'll already notice is the line on my jacket and my shoulders at this moment in time are quite level. And this is where so many people go wrong. Because I'm so level here at address, what happens is in the golf swing, I've got to try and create the hitting up motion, but that's causing me to stay on my back foot. With me staying on my back foot, it's gonna result in a lack of distance. Picture if I was throwing a ball, and I go through onto my left side, it's gonna be a lot more powerful than if I throw off my back foot. And equally, it's gonna create really poor club face control because by staying on the back foot, I'm not rotating my body. I'm gonna end up either throwing my hands at the shot and hitting it left, or I'm gonna leave the club face open and bail out to the right. So what we would like to do is we'd love to get this setup nailed in to really encourage us then to hit up on the ball really naturally, but B, get that power through the shot as well by getting the weight back into the left side. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our setup position, alignment stick here on the left heel, and I'm gonna take my normal address position here. Now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna get into this driver power position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my left hips towards the target until the bottom of my zip on my gilet is running towards my left heel. This is already now tipped my shoulders so if I was just to push my hands forward, you'll notice how quickly that club is rising. Many people in my lessons, if I ask them to tip their shoulders, what happens is the weight goes onto the back foot. They start to lean back behind the ball. The weight now too much on the right leg. They get stuck on the right leg trying to hit up. But what we actually want to do is move the hips forwards, get the line at the bottom of my gilet towards my left heel, this is now gonna set me in a position where my weight still feels 50-50, but my shoulders are angled up. From here then, what I can do, if I wanna get a bit extra up through the ball, if you're struggling, we can just move the club head back a fraction. This will just cause a little bit more tip in the body and allow me to maintain it while I'm swinging through. And a great drill for you to try with the driver is can you just catch the top of that tee through the ball? So I'm gonna take this setup, I'm gonna tip my hips, and from there, I'm gonna swing, just trying to catch the top of that tee. And one of the key things you should find if you do it correctly is you're not breaking the tee. Okay, so now we're ready to try this with a golf ball. So we're gonna go through the same setup routine. I'm gonna put the ball on my left heel. I'm gonna get a nice wide stance. From there, I'm gonna tip the bottom of my gilet in towards my left heel and feeling like my weight is staying central. Now from there, all I'm gonna do is just gonna move the club back a few inches to here. This has now got me in a really nice position where if I make a good swing, I'm naturally there hitting up on the golf ball. What that meant is I got loads of distance and I've got really, really good club face control, resulting in much straighter drives. So I know you guys will want to see this from down the line and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna take my setup position again, hips forward, I'm gonna move the club back just a fraction now And you can see there the height on that drive. It's got really good length. It's flown over the 250 there and I'm hitting it straight. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. 
I can't wait to hear in the comments below how many of you have done this drill and hopefully found it really useful. And then I wanna hear about the best drives on the course that you guys have hit with this drill. So just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and bell icon. I upload a long video or a coaching video every Sunday at three o'clock UK time. Guys, thanks for watching. See you all very soon.